Hey artists, welcome back to Art Playground with Mrs. Vaughn. This week we're going to be learning about Jackson Pollock. He had a very unique style they refer to as action painting. What does that mean? Well, let me describe some of his techniques and I think you'll see. One of the techniques he used with his paint was he'd take his paintbrush, dip it in paint, and fling it all over his canvas. His canvases were very large. Another thing he'd do is he'd take a paint can, he'd puncture it in the bottom, and he'd drip paint from the can directly onto his canvas all over. And the third technique he used was he would take oil paints right in their tube and he would smear them on his canvas, creating very thick, rigid, dramatic lines. I hope you enjoy learning about our artist this week named Jackson Pollock. Jackson Pollock was born with the name Paul Jackson Pollock, but went by his middle name, Jackson. He is known for enormous drip paintings. They are splashy, drippy, messy paintings. Pollock says, my painting does not come from an easel. I prefer to tack unstretched canvas to the wall or the floor. I need the resistance of a hard surface. On the floor, I am more at ease. I feel nearer, more part of my painting since this way I can walk around it, work from four sides, and literally be in the painting. He was born in Wyoming, one of five brothers. Their mother wanted them to become artists, and three of the five boys actually did become artists. He had a hard time in school academically and following rules. He moved to New York to study, and in 1943, a very rich art collector named Peggy Guggenheim asked him to make a mural for her. He was so excited, he ripped down a wall in his home so he could fit a huge 20-foot canvas inside. Peggy was pleased with the painting and invited him to have an exhibition at her gallery. His paintings did not look like any kind of real-life scene. They simply tried to show emotions like happiness and anger in the expressive marks they made. This is called abstract expressionist art. People who saw him paint said it was like watching a dance, full of energy and rhythm. He met Lee Crasher while they were both exhibiting their work. They were later married. They learned from each other and trusted each other with suggestions for improving their art. Jackson sadly suffered from alcoholism and possibly mental illness. Some suggest he may have been bipolar. He died in a car crash while driving under the influence of alcohol just one mile from his home, and he was only 44 years old. His work continues to inspire artists from all over the world to invent new ways of painting. All right, let's get our supplies together. You're going to need newspaper to protect your surface from the mess. Any kind of craft paper or copy paper will work for this project. Acrylic paint, some paint brushes, a cup with water, some kind of string or yarn for painting, and paper towel just in case we get messy. Go get your supplies. All right, artists, here's what we're going to do. So I have some acrylic paint. Show you, I'm putting it in just a small container. It's a little bit thick for our project, so I'm going to take a syringe, or any way you can get a little bit of water, add it to your paint, and then you're gonna mix it in really well so it's a, a little bit watery, easier to move it around the page. If it's very thick, it's not going to work the way we need it to. So I already did the blue. Uh, the blue has extra water, and I'll show you why. Um, we're going to use that in a different way. We can do different things to create a Jackson Pollock. The third color I'm going to get is a purple, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add water. One thing we should talk about is, boy, is this a messy project, or it can be. So be sure to get some newspaper or do it outside, because as you splash and get a little wild with your paint, it gets messy. Um, I have a yellow piece of paper behind mine so you can see it, but really it would be best to have newspaper or a drop cloth uh, because we splash and drip and 
kind of create a mess. It's really fun, but it, it's a bit of a mess. All right, so I have my blue ready, my yellow ready, and my purple ready. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get yarn. And this yarn, or uh, actually I pulled some string off of a gift bag because I did not have yarn. Um, I am going to put that in the colors, yellow and in the purple. If you see the yellow one, I have it on a clothespin so my hands don't get yucky. So I dip my string in and I'm just gonna start making marks on my paper. Jackson Pollock's artwork, if you remember, is very, very busy. If you're an artist who likes busy, you can do a lot of paint, or if you're an artist who likes things a little simpler, you can do it a little simpler. I'm gonna go for a little bit of a, a Pollock look today. Even though I usually do simple, I think it's a pretty fun one to just experiment with a lot of supplies. So when I'm done with my yellow, I'm gonna put it away and I'm gonna borrow that clothespin and I'm gonna put it on my purple paint string. This is another one I'm going to, to dip in the paint and just let it lay on the paper making different designs. You can do small designs, big designs, lots of paint, not a lot of paint. I could drag it across there if I want. Done with my purple. Next is the blue, which is a little more watery. You can see I've added more water. And I'm trying to create the drip effect that Jackson Pollock did. So first I took my paintbrush and I just tried to get it to pop off the paintbrush by itself. It wouldn't, so I had to put my finger and hit the paintbrush against my finger. You can see my finger there. And that makes the paint splash off the brush pretty easily and create that splatter look. Did you ever think that splatter art might have become very popular because an artist created it in his studio years ago and many people have copied him? splattered all over. That's why you need a good surface covered before you start working on your Jackson Pollock artwork. So I'm done with those three things and I thought wouldn't it be fun to try something different? A different texture. So I got a, uh, you can do any kind of objects, but what I found was a pipe cleaner. And I bent it into the shape of a loop and I'm dipping it in a turquoise, which I've already kind of uh, thinned with the water like I did with the other paints. I just thought that would be interesting. Might you have objects around your house you can use? I'm sure you do. This was just something I had on hand that I thought could make an interesting look. If you wanted to do your whole painting splatter, could you? Absolutely. This is just what I chose to do.
like what we did today at our playground, please hit the red button to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.